Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on how to download and install Windows 10 April 2018th update. And it's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. By me showing you two different ways to get the Windows Spring update. And the first one is by going to the Settings window and clicking on Update and Recovery within the Windows Settings window and getting it that way. And the second way is getting it directly from Microsoft's uh, website. However, let's go ahead and let me show you the first way by going down to the Start menu here. And we'll go ahead and left click and move up and click on the Settings icon. That opens up the Windows Settings window and then go down here and click on Update and Security. That opens up the Windows Update screen. And under Update Status, if you do not see the feature update, go ahead and click on Check for Updates. And it'll go out and check the um, Microsoft servers to see if the feature update to Windows 10 version 1803 is available for your computer. And if it is, it'll come back and it will tell you that um, it's available and initializing and that's what it's doing right now it's initializing and once that's completed it'll go ahead and give you a status of preparing to install and after that's completed it'll start downloading the feature update to Windows 10 version 1803 the spring update to your computer and place that on your hard drive and this is um, several gigabytes, I believe six gigabytes, but I'm not going to swear to that. Um, in any case, um, once it completes downloading, and it'll go ahead and give you a status of awaiting um, install, because um, it's checking one other thing or two there on your computer. And then it will go ahead and start installing. And this whole process... Um, takes a good number of hours. Um, on one computer laptop it took um, about three and a half hours and on another computer laptop that I have it only took about an hour and a half. So it all depends on the speed and performance of your computer as well as the speed of um, your internet and keep this in mind also the time of day or time of night because Microsoft servers um, can be a little bit busy so it's not going to download the feature update to your computer as fast as you would like. And one last note, during the installation of the feature update to Windows 10 version 1803 your computer will, um, you'll get a little prompt here under Windows Update that says restart now or that your computer needs to be restarted and also keep in mind that your computer will restart multiple times during the installation you'll get some black screens some blue screens and some percentages of completion um, on those um, blue screens and it'll continue until it's completed and uh, be patient it does take a considerable number of hours to complete on some computers my advice is to hang in there the update is well worth it i love the new features within windows um, spring update and i will be giving a um, video on that one um, within a couple of days Okay, um, once you're um, installed with the Windows Update here um, through this method, um, that's about it. However, I did mention that there's a, another method of uh, getting a hold of the new feature update to Windows 10 version 1803 directly from Microsoft Windows um, website. And let me go ahead and show that to you now. By opening up an internet browser of your choosing, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Browser Microsoft Edge, which is included in Windows 10. And I have the URL address already open within Edge. And don't hurt your eyes to see this small print. I'll go ahead and put the address into my video description as well for 
um, the download here. Now, this is definitely for the Windows 10 April 2018 update, and it says it's available now. So you can click on the Update Now button, and that will go ahead and initialize the update process of several windows um, that will install the latest version of Windows onto your existing computer. And if you don't want to do it right now, you can create Windows 10 installation media and by just clicking on the download tool now. But keep in mind, you do need to have a license to install Windows 10. So if you're going to make a... Um, you know, media installation, um, you know, put that on a USB or a DVD um, and install it on another computer. Make sure you do have a license key for that computer if it's not already on Windows 10. Okay, um, that's how you go about it if you want to just, you know, do it manually and go out to, directly out to Microsoft's website and download um, the feature update to Windows 10 version 18.03 um, without going to Windows Update. All right, um, that's the end of this video. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe and leave a like if you like.